Uh, we've gathered today to, you know, for these two sessions. I'll be, as explained, I'll be taking up the income and expenses uh, section. So, you know, uh, nothing is complete without the revenue. The first topic that we are going to, you know, tackle with and to probably understand it. Uh, just, just a gist of, you know, the sessions that we'll be discussing uh, while, you know, discussing these. India's 115 deals with revenue uh, and certain costs related, you know, to those revenues that we, you know, uh, usually record in the PNL. Uh, the second topic is with regard to India S20, which is deals with government grants. Uh, if if I were to say that, you know, if any one of you or someone of you, you know, read the previous standards or the IGAP standards when they were, you know, studying properly or for work, uh, it's it's been, you know, primarily same or similar to in, in a lot of senses to the uh, swell standard. Uh, the next one that we deal with is India S90. Uh, few changes there, not much with regard to disclosure or you know, any presentation changes. Uh, again, then we will deal with share-based payments. Share-based payments are primarily related to ESOPs or share stock appreciation rights that we give to our employees. Uh, again, there's a change in methodology that we used to see in, in the you know, IGAP standard or the guidance note issued by the ICI for the counting of their own.